a light for attracting attention. Got a light? This album is good. It is good to see that Tom and Johnny still know what the hell they're doing. And now they got a, a skinny Tom. We got skinny Tom playing the Toms. Uh, sorry, I'm on one today. This album was good. Let's talk about each individual track, shall we? I have it at about 3.5. Um, the same. Really cool electronic textures here. Tom and Johnny, like they've become masters of synth engineering by this point. So it's always cool to hear what they can program. Um, I love the tense chord frictions going on here. Um, just really like nice, deep, interesting tones. I don't know. It's a pleasure to listen to. The opposite. Not super into this kind of like Adams for Peace thing going on here. It, it's all right though. Um, you will never work in television again. Love the post-punk energy on this one. Um, always cool to hear Tom and Johnny rock out like it's the 90s again. Uh, Panavision. Slinky piano chord work similar to maybe Down is the New Up. Uh, but it's just a bit too unmoored for me. Um, but cool vibe though. The smoke, you got interesting funky bass on here with a genuinely smoky atmosphere on the per percussion reverb. Uh, not a bad one here. Speech bubbles, I'm always partial to these unexpectedly sweet sounding tracks from Tom. Um, like Motion Picture Soundtrack and True Love Waits are some of my most favorite Radiohead tracks for this very reason. Um, and I think this track is fantastic. Thin Thing, not super into the hard panning, um, but like the virtuoso guitar work is like super hard to deny here. Uh, Open the Floodgates, love this track a decade ago, still love it now. Um, the synth arpeggio over the top of the piano chords is a perfect counterpoint. Um, this feels like the daydreaming for this album. It's just top shelf stuff. Free in the knowledge. I love this like natural snow buildings, reverby acoustic guitar. It's dark and cold, but soft and emotive. It's one of my favorites on here. Um, a hairdryer. <laughs> Not a lot going on here compared to most other tracks. Just kind of falls flat, I feel. Uh, waving a white flag. I love the tense synth arpeggio on this. It gives like a stilted movie score vibe. It's it's odd. Um, we don't know what tomorrow brings. Got more of that punk bent again with a nice electronic flavor. Um, really dig that acceleration at the end too. Uh, and then skirting on the surface. Um, not sure if this song ended up in a better place than where it began. Uh, the jazz drums don't fit it super, super well, and the basic guitar chords broken up from Johnny aren't necessarily, like, stand out either. Um, however, I do feel like it comes together into a cohesive whole well enough, though, so, um, it's fine. But, yeah, I think this was a solid album. Uh, Wall of Eyes just came out, like, I don't know, a week ago or something. Um, maybe I'll do, should I do, a, like, another live Album reaction to Wall of Eyes. Is it good? I think it's supposed to be good. I don't know. Anyway. Um, favorites are Speech Bubbles, Open the Floodgates, and Free in the Knowledge. With shoutouts to The Same, You Will Never Work in Television Again, Waving a White Flag, and We Don't Know What Tomorrow Brings. So, uh, yeah, just always cool to hear good output from them. And good to hear cool output from them, too. Um, and I hope that Wall of Eyes holds up to this. It probably will. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, Godspeed. Mm -hmm.